Welcome back, Cuboid Outpost with myself, Kairos. Episode 6, we burn from burning doors. Who's probably looking to shoot me from some direct. I see you. Now why would you ever think that, sir? That reason right there. You know what? what? I'm not going to stoop to your level this time. I'm not even going to shoot back. Oh. Not even okay. going to shoot back. Well, I had to use our fun little area to track my prey and ambush them. Yeah. Since we expanded out between episodes a little bit. We did, we did, we did. Also, we put a fence. Burn, yes. Burn put some fancy lighting with some light posts. Yeah, I like to make it look a little bit decent. It looks nice, looks nice. Well, thank you. It does look nice. What else did we do between episodes? If I remember oh, yeah. correctly, you got us a bit of string. I did. Let's look in this chest right here. <laughs> yeah, you definitely got us a bit of string. Yeah, so uh, we should be good for getting ready for the meshes now. That's right. Speaking of, I think that's one of the next quests in our book here. Let's see. Yes, it oh, is. well, we got a crunchy little delicacy first we can knock out real quick. After a while, you'll probably have some silkworms. Yeah, we got plenty of those. Then you'll know what to do with. Luckily, there's a useful way of consuming them. Just have to cook them first. Well, do I'll cook us up a stack since we got plenty. Might as well. Might as well. While you're doing that, I'll read the mesh one. Mesh together. All right. A sieve is no good without a mesh in it. For now, we can make a simple mesh from string. Then place that in the sieve and start for sieve. I don't know why I keep wanting to call it sieve. Sieve to start getting some additional materials. There you go. Got us our little crunchy little delicacy here. I'm going to grab a bunch of this string. Ah, I gained two more hearts eating that. Oh, nice. Let me just do that myself. So, how many mesh did we have before? Zero. Okay, so we need to make 25 of these. Yes, sir. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. All right, 23, 24, 25. Nice. Very nice. We'll go ahead and put these worms here in the fridge. Yeah. As well as the kebabs and apples. You forget we have a fridge. Let me eat some of these worms. Yeah, I got two hearts myself. Oh, you could eat that apple cider vinegar. Ugh, wouldn't recommend it. All right, let's go pop these meshes in here, shall we? All right. Here we go. Getting somewhere now. Look at us go. And there we go. Very nice. Very nice. All right. We got a couple directions we can go now. Let's start with ashes to ashes and sand. That's what I was just thinking. And sand to dust. So let's place down some of that sand you have and whack it with your hammer to get your hands on some dust. All right. You got the hammer? I got, uh, it's in the chest up top. Yeah, well, why don't you go grab that real quick? We'll do, we'll do. Got it. Okay, that causes a lot of lag for me, so I'm not going to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yep. Go ahead. That's a stack of sand. Should give us a st quick stack of dust. <laughs> a quick stack of dust. <laughs> yes, it does. Yes, it does. Well, we can put water in barrel and get sand. Put a barrel of water, then use some dust in it. Get some clay. That's not sand, sir. That's uh, clay. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. I'll go grab a bucket of some water. All right. Grab that barrel while you're up there. The barrel's down there with you. Oh, you put it down there. Okay. Okay. I see it. I see it. What did I do? Ah, there's our bucket. It's at the bottom. 
Alright, let's see here. Dust is a must. Who would have guessed that Div plain old boring dust would net you gunpowder? Not only that, but it can also be an additional supply of bone meal. That's handy. Since we now have everything blocked off, we don't have to worry about skeletons. We don't get many bones. Do that. Can I get one of them dust, please? Uh... There you go. Thank you. Da, da, da. Clay we have. I'm going to save the rest of this. All right. And we'll sit here and just hold it. All right. I'll run around and help collect things as they pop out. All right, I got eight bone meal and two gunpowder from that. Very nice. Nope. Nine bone meal. Nine? Yep. Nine bone meal and two gunpowder. What'd you get out of it? I have one bone meal out of it. That's it? That's it. One bone meal. That's not a big return on investment here. <laughs> well, it is just... String mesh as well. That is true. So. All right, well, where shall we go next? I guess next we will go. Where are we going to go? We can go, wouldn't it be nice? We can go logistically redstone. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and knock that one out since it's just right there. What, redstone? Yep. All right, let's see. You now have access to highly reactive gunpowder and highly conductive carbon nanotubes. Put them in the QTC, and our science division believes you can create redstone dust. Well, let's go do that. Also going to put our stuff in here. We got plenty of nanotubes somewhere. Yeah, sure. Sure we do, sure we do. Oh, that's right. I turned them into blocks. No. Nice. There we go. Any of those? And we got some redstone. Super awesome. Now we get 16 to 32 for a quest reward. I got 17. And I got 28. Very handy. Yep. I'm just going to toss them in this chest here. Yes, it's 54. It's a good start. It is indeed. Uh, let's see. Let's say next we'll jump to... Wouldn't it be nice? All right. While oak is perfectly serviceable for most things, perhaps a bit more variety would be good. Now that we've already kick-started organic life on this planet, the science division thinks that simply sieving blocks of cellulose might provide additional seeds you can plant on dirt to get a wider variety of tree species. So I guess we need blocks of cellulose. Well, uh, you're already, already on top of it. Grab two stacks of them real quick. You did? Yep. Let's do a little bit of sieving. Uh -huh. I don't mean to deceive you. Yeah, I see what you did there. All puns intended that time. Oh, of course. We're gonna pick up all these little spores. Yeah. All right. That's complete. We're going to have to actually set up little biomes out here at some point. Uh, yeah. I got a case. All these different type of tree seeds. I got some acacia, dark oak, oak, birch, jungle, and spruce. I got the same ones. Nice. I think that's all of them we needed. Yep. That's pretty awesome. Fred and Wilma's offspring. <laughs> Pebbles. Pebbles, okay. Yes, sir. Sifting dirt can give pebbles. Hint, you might want to look at making a dirt quantum singularity before embarking on sieving dirt for this task. Well, luckily enough. A little bit of ahead of them on that one. <laughs> That's complete. What do we complete just now? Oh, well, that works too. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I was looking away, I turned around, and there's just stuff floating everywhere. I imagine. 
I might have grabbed a couple stacks in here. Um, I hear a zombie, and I see a lot of mobs on the map. Yeah, they're outside of our fancy dancy wall up there. That's true. I'm gonna fill up my inventory, sir. Holy smokes. Okay. That completes that quest. That's all doing pebbles. So from that, it goes down to rocks, which we can turn those pebbles into blocks. Some pebbles in a crafting table can be combined into different forms of rock. Go ahead and make some andesite, basalt, blackstone, diorite, and granite. As a hint, as most raw materials, there are quantum singularities for these two, but you probably won't need all of them. If you're able, you might want to invest the time and effort into obtaining andesite, diorite, and granite. Quantum singularities. Yeah, I'll do that in between episodes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, let's see. Should we backtrack and do a couple of the mother quests or keep going down this line? Well, we can since go. I just did rocks, we can go fishing. Fishing? We, go fishing. we can go fishing. A waiter's optional. Let's do that. All right. It seems that some of the microbes in the soil you've been making have made their way into the water. The star in the solar system seems to be rapidly mutating the microbes into fish. Totally unbelievable, right? Yeah, convenient. <laughs> Nevertheless, you should make yourself a fishing rod and go catch something to eat. All right, well, now they're, they're speaking our language. Exactly. Make me one, too. I'll grab a bucket and see if I can't get us some... A nice little pond going. Sounds like a plan. Do, 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 do. Once you get done with your craft. Two buckets ought to do. If I remember how to make these fishing rods, it's been a little while. Oh no, we're out of string in the terminal. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> Alright. What am I going to do with all these pebbles? That's the better question. Make them into stones. And throw them in one of the chests up there. That's a good point. That's a good point. For those of you who don't know, to make an infinite water supply like this, you just need a 4x4 four four square, put water in it, and now when you take it out of the corner, it automatically creates another source block right there for you. Makes making larger pools of water a lot easier that way. You can also make one with just three water sources in a row. This is true. Just for... The problem with that one is occasionally on servers like we're on here, it doesn't tick fast enough. Right. So you actually lose one of the blocks. Prevents it from being infinite. That is also true. Can also happen. But it does work. It's, it's, uh. You don't run into that. Oh, you put all the food in there. Yep, everything in the refrigerator. Good deal, good deal. Alright. A fishing pole. Awesome. Where'd you go? Yeah, I'm over here making a pond. I see. And now, uh, oh, nice. Very cool. I'll shoot a fishing pole right here. Oh, well, thank you. Yes, sir. Spiders out there looking at you like, what are you doing? Being crazy. We're repopulating the world, returning nature. He said, don't worry, I'll climb your fence and look later. That's probably true. That is the one problem. The fences keep out everything but the spiders. Yeah, but in the daytime, they don't bother us. Almost. Almost. Oop, wrong one. Looks like you've done it. You gonna leave a torch? Yep. 
Right, I'm going fishing. <laughs> I see that. Quit splashing, man. You're scaring my fish away. Do, do, do. So peaceful. It is. Here in our nice little woods. Yeah, just a fishing. Know, started on like a deserted island with nothing but a hut and snow. And now we got dirt, trees, and a pond to catch fish. Look at that. Fishing business. Yep. A lot of puffer fish. Nice. Good place to cool off when it gets hot, even though I don't think it ever does since there's snow everywhere. Yeah, it'd be a little difficult to get hot here. Okay, that also finished another quest for any fish will do, which there's no con ah. there's no context for, so whatever. I got a cod. Very nice. Well, we'll do some more fishing off camera. We won't bore the folks too much. Right, right. right. Put my fishing pole in there. Okay. Let's see, what's the next quest? We should probably do mass desiccation. Okay. <laughs> Which wants us to make a drying cupboard. Which one is that? It is right under the redstone one. Ah. Let's see. Okay. You, sh you should have enough bits and pieces lying around to cobble together a drying cupboard. If not, if you are short a few parts, you might need to employ the recycler again on one of those solar generators or wind generators on the roof. Come on, man. We don't want to tear that stuff up again. We really don't know now. The drying cupboard allows for mass drying to occur. It can only dry eight things at once at no additional cost in energy. Simply spread out these inputs into each of the eight slots and make use of the feature. The drying cover can be used to dry out wet sponges. It'll dry out fish into hard fisker and cured meats into biltong. It's also used to dry out aggregate, I guess that's how you say that, in the production of grout. Okay. We need two energy tablets. I made those. You made those? We need three infused alloys. Did those. Ah, we need dark oak, specifically. Hey, guess what? We happen to have some dark oats. Some dark oak. over here. Acorns. Let me go plant a tree. And audience gets to see me twerk a little bit. And that's what they're all here for, sir. And I let's... wouldn't do it there. Oh, we're going to do it right here. Well, no, you've got another tree right above you. What's up, Tom? Where are you going my tree, Let's man? I was in F5 mode. I was about ready to get down. Right here, sir. Right here. It's a nice open area right by that torch. We'll put, we'll, well, let's, I'm going to put her down right here. Oh, do four of them, sir. The audience is in suspense. I didn't grab enough. Did you grab some? I did not. You want to make a big tree. I'll go get it. I forget the dark oak grows in a four before. Even the audience is suspense, man. They were ready for I the know. twerking. I'm sure they were. Grassy. Right. I'm going Dirt. to F5 mode and show them what they get to see. And go. Nice. That was rather quick over there. I just have to glance around the corner. Dude, my twerking skills do not lack. Iron. Let's cut this baby down. Good lag spike. <laughs> uh, you got to get good, sir. Well, you want to finish off that drying rack. You should have the materials to do it now. Yeah, I'm going to put some of this stuff up here. Okay, you got it over here? Yep. Well, what else is we needing for it? We needed just... Just the dark oak. Two wood and two planks. Make some, yes, sir. Make some planks here. What is it going to take for us to make another? Wait, there was a quest that had we go. our quest section. What do you want this drying covered? It needs power, I guess. Uh, I guess you could put it right. I think I'm about putting it up here. Yeah, I was about to say, right up there in that corner above that light. Right there. Nice. It's getting filling up with power. There you go. Uh, can I put these in here? I can. Nice. Six. 
that. And drying us up some fish. You do that, you do that. Well, that's actually a quest. Is it? A taste of Iceland. While traditional hard fish gore is wind dried. I don't know if that's how you say that or not. That's a good question. But I'm going with it. It's wind dried on wooden racks on the foreshore. The drying covered can be used to produce a reasonable price of meal. Similarly, sir. Whatever the hell it is, man. <laughs> at a relatively rapid pace. And I just made us two. There's one in the fridge for you. Very nice. I'll eat it next time I'm hungry. Let's go ahead and mark, knock out this uh, more than just a flavor enhancer, shall we? All right. Salt can be obtained by sipping blocks of silica dust. Grab us a few blocks so and I'll come down here and wait on you. Alright. Sure. We have a stairway, you know. Yeah, I got a little high strong and went to little, went to jump in there. A little overexcited. Yeah. We're making progress, man. We have been. Starting to feel like a home, not just a deserted planet. What's with the dirt? I just happen to have some in my inventory. Oh, nice. Fill my inventory up again, would you please? Sure. I need a salt. We did. All right. Going back up to empty my inventory. <laughs> Ooh, gravel. <laughs> gravel? Let's go with that one. Sometimes I sound like gravel. You go ahead and read it. I'm going to empty my inventory here. All right. And sometimes, sometimes I sound like gravel. And sometimes I sound like coffee and cream. I cannot sound like Nina Simone. I am sorry. <laughs> anyway. Ah, gravel. If only we had a driveway to spread some out on. But it doesn't have... But it does have its uses. It can be a good source of flint, for one. Which would be really good for me. Some arrows. And can make sifted later on for more... And can be sifted later on for more materials, too. Sifting gravel will become a great source of materials moving forward. You should consider making gravel quantum singularity before long. Oh. Sounds like a good idea to me. Sure you'll have one of those in between episodes. Oh, yeah. Right. Do you still have that hammer on you? Yeah. Which quest was that you were reading? That is the one that's in the dark right there beside the clay. Oh, I see it. Okay. Yeah, I got the hammer. Read the, read the... Bring that hammer if you could, sir. Because we need some more clay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sounds like a plan. Could you hammer those two for me? Wrap up behind me there. What you making now? Some clay, because you use clay to make aggregate from that quest. I got you. Two clay and two crushed diorite. Crushed granite. Going down a quest line we ain't even unlocked yet, sir. It's there. No, but we had to go through the hammer first. Oh, I see. Gotta go up my... through the hammer. Also have to do the curing as a process. Yup, yup. Well, we gotta... I was trying to jump ahead. I apologize. We gotta do rock on sister and crush rocks. And... Yeah, those two. And we also got to do curing as a process, biltong. You see those? No, oh, no, no, no. That goes the other direction. No, no, no. That's the other direction. Yeah, yeah you're a, right. Just a two. I need to zoom in a little bit here. And I can actually <laughs> see arrows. Let's go back on to Rock On, sister. All right. Those uh, hammer gadgets can also be made using some of those new rocks, giving you a stone hammer, which is a bit more durable than the wood version you have been using so far. All right, well, let's just jump up here, and I'm going to make me one of those. All right, do that. Make it out of granite. Can you use granite? I guess it's the same thing as stone. There it is. Nice. Ta-da! Cool. So now we got to crush some of those rocks we made. Some rocks can be crushed and then have different uses. Let's start off by getting a few of the crushed andesite, diorite, and granite. It's 16 of each. I don't know that we have that. Yeah, we should. We do. Just barely, but we do. Sweet. Take them down here and crush them up. 
Yes, sir. I'm already ahead of you. I think you're behind me. There you go. Just get these right up. Give me that back. Awesome buckets everywhere. And back away, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. All right. That should be it. That is it. You are correct. Now your quest unlocked. There we go. Let me finish this quest and I'll be getting close to calling it time. It is. It is. I'd like to get this gravel unlocked real quick right. if we can. What do we need for it? I need some of those uh, crushed rocks that you just got. All right, you can have them all. Well, thank you. You didn't pick these up, but okay. I'll pick up the crushed die right you left behind. Well, I apologize. I thought I got them all. It's all right. Oops. That was not supposed to go there. I mean, I'm all for new decorations, sir, but I'm not quite that sure that's what you had in mind. No, not quite. So now, gravel. Oh. You take to me, gravel. Horse dirt. You gotta put it. But can't make court dirt without gravel. No, you gotta put that aggregate into that drying cupboard, sir. Ah. As many as you can put in there. Just wait for the old timer to finish. It actually feels like we're getting somewhere. It does. We went from having nothing but a snow field to now we've got a little forest going on over here. Having gra and gravel. Gravel. <laughs> all, that, uh, all that stuff for gravel. Yep. Awesome. Well, we could probably knock out this one. Curing is a process real quick. We've got just oh, a minute or two left. This one? Curing is a process. All right. Curing, curing is a food. Oh, no, you go, go for it, man. You go for it. <laughs> curing is a food pres preservation process. By using apple cider vinegar and salt, it is possible to cure the nasty nasties out of the rotten flesh, too. Which just so happens, I have a bottle of apple cider on me. Nice. And some salt. salt. Rotten flesh. Yep. Doo, 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 doo. Which we're running a little low on, actually. Very nice. There's that. All right. That is. All right. Do you want to try to knock this last one out since all we have to do is throw this in the drying rack for 15 seconds? Do it. Put it in there. Go ahead and read it for us while I toss this up here. All right. Cured flesh can be dried out to make zombie biltong. A pretty decent food source, even if it does taste nothing like beef biltong, which is absolutely delicious. I agree. I can't say I've ever had it. Pretty good. There we go. Ta da! Got some built on. Nice. Put that in the ice box over there. Fridge. And it gives you two to four. Gave me two. Very nice. Oh, that's right. The quest gives us some. I was about to make some more. Don't need to. What? But all right, I do think that's should be about wrapping up point, sir. Yeah, I agree. I would agree. Not a bad episode. We got a few things done. We did indeed. We've been done working our way towards our first medals here pretty soon, hopefully. Well, technically, we have these not so goodiums and things that are medals, but well, medals we're used to. Let's put it that way. Real medals, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we'll get into that in future episodes. But for now, thank you guys for hanging out and watching, and hopefully, we'll see you on the next one. Till then. Yep. Until next time. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy, be sure to drop a like and leave a comment down below. Also, subscribe if you haven't already to see future episodes or other content on the channel. And uh, until next time, thanks again.